what Western mathematician discovered in hundred years. Srinivas and Ramanujan redrives all those all alone in India, working million times away from his main fields. But the tragedy of his life is that his work was wasted rediscovering already discovered mathematics. Otherwise, he would rather look for something forward in that time period. Ramanujan, one of the strangest and miraculous scientists of all time. He has been compared to the bursting supernova, illuminating the darkest and most profound corner of mathematics. He belonged to the poor family and died at the age of 33, exactly like Riemann, the other strangest scientist who discovered fourth dimension, who also belonged to the poor family and died at the age of 39 due to malnutrition. Ramanujan was born in 1887 near Madras, India. At the age of 10, he became famous in the village for his well-known calculations. In childhood, he already redrived Euler's identity between trigonometric functions. He stumbled upon this forgotten book on mathematics by George Carr. It was his exposure to modern Western mathematics. According to his sister, this book awakened his genius. He established every formula without the aid of other books, and each formula was a piece of research. Ramanujan believed goddess Namakal inspired him with the formula in his dreams. He was able to win the scholarship to high school, but got really bored with what was taught in the school and classwork. And on the other hand, equations and formulas were constant dancing in his head. That's why he got failed to enter in the senior class and his scholarship was cancelled. In all this chaos and frustration, he ran away from his home. But he returned early to fall ill and again fail in examinations. He managed to get a low-waged clerk job with a salary £20 per year. In poor trust with the help of his friends, this job freed Ramanujan to follow his dream in his spare time, like Einstein at the patent office. He collected the theorems from his dreams and mailed to three well-known British scientists. Two of the mathematicians received the letter written by an unknown Indian clerk with no formal education, threw it away. The third genius mathematician from the Cambridge Godfrey H. Hardy. Due to his big stature, he was used to receiving the fake mails. He goes through the letter and noticed many of the theorems were already discovered and known and thought it was a plagiarist and also threw it away. But something wasn't right. Something nagged Hardy and he wondering about this strange letter. Once again, he generally began the letter and it contained theorems that were totally unknown to the Western mathematicians. In total, it contained 120 theorems, and Hardy was shocked and surprised at the same time. Hardy stated, I had never seen anything in the least like them before. A single look at them is enough to show that they could only be written down by a mathematician of the highest class. Hardy called him and arranged his stay at the Cambridge. Hardy noted Ramanujan was showing him half dozen new theorems every day. Ramanujan was a player of the numbers. He was so quick. Once Hardy got a taxi number 1729, he thought it rather a dull number. But Ramanujan replied it, it's the smallest number as a sum of two cubes in two different ways. Wrapped up in the war-torn British economy, it was difficult for Ramanujan to maintain his strict vegetarian diet, and he fell ill and never recovered. World War was made it difficult for him to travel to India. Maybe his health became better if he could travel early. In 1919, he managed to return home, and he died a year later.
Ramanujan's legacy of work consists of 4,000 formulas in just 400 pages in four volumes. In 1976, a new discovery made 135 pages his last year's notebook that we called Ramanujan's Lost Notebook. Researchers are waiting Ramanujan's last notebooks to be discovered so they could find some more things about current time's greatest theory, the string theory. Thank you, thank you so much.